Hi, Analog Clock Part 2. In this video, we will learn about how to read a given time on the clock face and how to write time in analog format. Analog time is usually written in the format this way. We have two parts. Part A, we write minutes. Part B, we write hours. Both of these parts are separated with a word past or to. Which word we need to select, we have already learned that in the previous video. We look at the position of the big needle and then decide whether we have to use past or to. So now let's look at how to read a given time. So there are three steps to write the time in analog format. Step 1. We look at the big hand position and decide which word we need to use. So this is my starting point. So I will look onto the clock face and see if my big needle is in this half or this half and then select the right word past or two. Okay, so this is my step one. Once I have done my step one, I will go to my second step where again I will check the position of big needle. Okay, the number at which my big needle is pointing, I will use the respective minute number. How to write the minute number? We have already discussed in previous video. So if my big needle is pointing to any given number, I will use that number and write in this box. So, so far I have completed these two parts. I have decided whether I have to use past or two and then I have decided how many minutes I have to use. And remember, for the numbers 12, 6, 3 and 9, we are going to use standard words. Alright? Okay, after finishing these two steps, we will move on to step 3. In my step 3, we will look for the hour hand position, which is my small needle. If my small needle is on the number, which means if my needle is pointing exactly on any given number, I will write that number in this box. In this box, okay? So, I know what hour number I do have to write. If my small needle is in between two numbers, so consider a situation where my small needle is in between two numbers. So, now again, go back to your format and check if you have written past, use the small number. If you have written two, use the big number. So, notice small number starts from S and past has S common, right? So, just remember with this way, past, small number, two, big number okay so let's see some of the clock faces with needles and let's start building the time i have few worksheet here with me where i need to read the time so let's do it step by step okay so my step one is Position of big needle and write the correct word. So, my big needle is here. My big needle is pointing in past. So, what I will do? I will write the first word past. This is my starting point. Okay. After that, I will look at the position of my big needle and count the minutes. So, that's my minute picture. My big needle is pointing at 1 
and my minute number is 5. So I will write in my standard format 5 minutes. So 5 minutes. Okay. And then passed. So now my two parts of this time is complete. Now let's check the hour time. Hour is nearly pointing to number 3. Okay. So I can see my hour needle is pointing to 3. So, I will write 3 here. So, my time is 5 minutes past 3. Let's do one more question. Okay. <clears throat> Again, step 1, check 2 or past. So, I can clearly say this is my past position. Remember, that's my past position. This is my big needle. So first I will write past. Then I have to now write the minutes. So again look at your minutes picture. The minute hand is pointing to 4. So pointing to 4 means the minute number is 20. So write 20 minutes past small needle is now small needle is between the numbers it is neither exactly at 8 nor it is on 9 so it is between the two numbers 8 and 9 so let's make a circle around 8 and 9 right now look on the rule the rule says if your small needle is between two numbers Check the word. If you have passed, yes, I have passed. So, use the small number. So, out of 9 and 8, what is my smaller number? 8. So, I will use 8 hours. Okay. So, this is how we write the time. Okay. Let's take uh, some example where I have the needle on the other side. So, right. So, let's pick this picture. Here, my big hand is pointing to the other half. So, I know my first step is I have to first choose whether I have to use past or to. So, looking at this picture, I know this big needle is on this half. So, this half tells me right so step 1 write 2 after that step 2 is again looking at the position of big needle so my big needle is at number 8 so now <coughs> look at number 8 in your minutes diagram on number 8 I have 20 okay Remember, I have 20. So, I am going to write 20 minutes to, again, step 3 tells me go on the small needle position. Now, check if your small needle is at any given number. No, it is in the middle of two numbers. So, what will you do? You will circle these two numbers and go to your rule. Your rule says if the small needle is between two numbers, use small number for the past and big number for the two. So, check here. What, what do I have? I have the keyword two. So, I will use big number. So, I am going to write 11 hours. Okay. So, my time is 20 minutes to 11 hours. Okay. So, let's do one more example. Let's do this one. Okay. Again, step 1. Step 1, check the big needle position and decide whether you need to write past and to. Now, I am not going to use my diagram. I remember past comes this side, to comes this side. So, I am going to write 2. <coughs> Step 2. 
Step 2. Check the position of big needle. My big needle is pointing to 7. Because I have word 2 and my big needle position is 7. I will look into this map and see what number I have to write. My number is 25. All the time you are not going to have these pictures handy with you. So what you can do. Start the counts of 5 from here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So write 25 minutes to step 3. Step 3. Look at the position of small needle. Does your small needle pointing to any particular number? No. It is in between two numbers. Right? Now, remember your rule. If your keyword is 2, use the big number. Suppose you forgot your rule. Remember, past. Past has S. And the numbers are either big or small. So, with past, use small number. With 2, use big number. So, I have 2. I am going to use big number. Okay. So, my time is 25 minutes to 6.